Well, good morning, my Galilee family and friends. This is Paula coming to you on another Friday for a Friday focus. So what I'm going to continue to do is what I talked about a few weeks ago is continue to build my relationship with God. And also in the same realm, prior prioritizing my relationships with special people in my life. And I was had been thinking about uh, a good friend of mine had said, oh, he says, Paula says, um, to keep a friend, you must be a friend. And I'm thinking, oh, that was such good advice. But I feel recently, maybe I failed in that. Um, I'm always too busy, um, invited to lunch or just whatever. And I think, oh, I can't go. I have to do this or do that. And Sometimes, I mean, I guess it's important to me, like, oh, I have, you know, I need, need to vacuum or whatever, but I'm thinking I, I need to stop that. And, and I have. I've started really um, scheduling times and because we all have the same amount of time and I just have to do it. And I have been um, the same way I make time for God first thing in the morning. And even now, sometimes, and I'll just have some quiet time in the afternoon, and I'll sit, and I'll read a devotion, or just open the Bible. Um, and boy, you feel so much better. And I feel so much better connecting with friends and being on a one-on-one -on -one, um, with them and keeping that strong. Um, and fortunately, most of my friends outside of church are also Christians, uh, maybe different faiths, but they're Christians, and so we always have a lot in common. And it's just a matter of choosing. I choose to spend time with God and nurture my um, friendships. So, um, and any relationship, be it your friends or God, is only as good as you put into it. And I know God, his, his, what a gift that we have with him, but also he wants it. He wants it so bad because we're his children. And so I have found if we don't make time for our friends, life gets in our way and it just dissolves. And I think it's never going to dissolve with God, but it's not the same. Um, he, he wants to be with us, but sometimes if we don't make the time, we're not with him. And so that is definitely what I'm continuing to, uh, to focus on because it's, it's a treasure. I find, I mean, being in the word and with God is a treasure as some of our special friendships are a treasure. And it just comes back that we have to make it a priority. And I was reading in, I think it was um, got Proverbs, uh, Proverbs 3, 6. In all your ways, submit to him, and he will make your path straight. And I like that, the path straight, because I do believe when we're, we, we don't go to him and we're not asking him, I think... It's so easy to become worried, resentful, bitter, all the negative words you could think of. And it just does. And why we do that, I don't know, because it's so easy to do that first thing in the morning because it starts your day off. It just makes a huge difference. It really does. And we're still going to have troubles and sorrow and problems, but... Um, it makes a difference how we handle them, put it that way. And so, and we don't have to live like this. I mean, we don't have to live like that and be worried. And it says um, in John 10, 10, the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. And I mean, I think, just think about each of those words. It's just a wonderful wonderful verse and I'm going to end with you know you always hear people like I you know I don't have to go to church to be a Christian well you're right I guess you mean you don't have to go to church 
And then there was this thing I had read. It said, you don't have to go home to be married, but you stay away long enough and a relationship will be affected and not in a very good way. And I'm thinking, and that's true. If you stay away from something and your church family, because just being there brings you joy and contentment, being around your family and they are your family. And so with that, um, I'm just going to continue building um, and just continue building my relationship with God and sharing the word with my friends and nourishing my friendships. And, you know, I may slip and fail sometimes, but um, he knows, I, I really believe he knows that I'm trying more than I've ever tried in my life. Um, and it feels good. So I hope you do that too and, and join me in building your relationship. And any comments that you want to make and put on there um, in the comment section is like, what do you do like to keep building your relationship? And so with that, as I always say, if you're having a bad day or you have questions, you know, all you need to do is look up. Until next time, bye.